Here it is, everybody, the battle of teams that you swear are good, except for those weekends that you finally decide to gamble on them. The Falcons stink, and I honestly don't know why, but hey, they just won three straight games. How could they stink? They beat the Bucks, Giants, and Washington. I mean, those aren't great teams, but that's surely a sign of things getting better, right? And then they lost to the Browns. This team has Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Tevin Coleman, and Matt Ryan. That's a pretty good core of skill players surrounding at least a decent quarterback, and that offense turned out 16 points against the Browns. It's not really the offense's fault, though. With the exception of last week at the Browns and week one at the Eagles and week five at the Steelers, their offense has been good. 31, 37, 36, 34, 23, 38 points, minus those three stinkers. So what's the problem? Let's check in on their defense here, and oh my god. Uh, the Cowboys have allowed the fewest points in the NFC. The Falcons have allowed the third most. That's just better than the Buccaneers and the Niners. This team is truly horrendously lopsided. But such is life in the NFL, right? No, I mean, not really. They have a minus 10 point differential. The Cowboys are just plus 10. In between those two teams, it's just the Panthers, Packers, Washington, and the Broncos. It's not a lot of teams, and it's not a huge difference. But the NFL is random sometimes. The Panthers have had the hottest recent streak. Washington's winning games 178 yards at a time. The Packers have Aaron bleeping Rodgers. And the Broncos have a bad coach and a bad quarterback and a bad GM. And I don't know how they're on this list, honestly. But the Cowboys and Falcons deserve to be discussed in the same breath. So, how do the Cowboys win this weekend? Well, defensively, the Falcons are 31st in the league in average yards per attempt allowed on the ground with 5.2. And they're also 39th in passing yards per game allowed. So honestly, just just lean up against this defense and you're going to end up with 500 yards of offense. If Ezekiel Elliott doesn't rush for 100 yards and Dak doesn't throw for 350, you should be very, very worried. I don't trust this offense even a little bit, but good lord. Even Scott Linehan's extremely innovative run-run-pass-punt offense should get you at least 30 points on Sunday. If they don't score 30 points, Linehan shouldn't be fired. He should be cast into a volcano as a sacrifice to the football gods as Jerry Jones cowers in shame. They've got to score 30. On the other side of the ball, Atlanta's second yards per game through the air. They don't run the ball terribly often or terribly well. They have two human aliens at wide receiver, so just deal with them. If the Falcons run the ball on you, so be it. But the real test this weekend isn't on the defensive side of the ball at all. Just let that matchup play out. The pressure this week's on the Cowboys' offense, almost exclusively. They have to score against the Falcons. Of course, for the third consecutive week, I'll point out that they have nothing of consequence facing them for Jason Garrett or Scott Linehan or Dak Prescott if they sputter this week. They'll probably get a stern talking to in this offseason, but that's pretty much standard procedure at this point. No, you know what? You know what, here's something that'll happen. If the Cowboys can't score at will against this Falcons defense, I won't be mad. But I will be very, very disappointed. I'm Josh Briscoe, and this has been Know Your Opponent, only on Phantom.